Welcome to Good Mythical More. I'm invigorated by the heat that is still emanating from the left side of my face. Like something about like my lips got, right here. Got, got my tongue real hot. Real my hot. lips are numb, my so tongue hot. is hot. My it's tummy feels hot. weird. Real hot, real hot. We're going to More what? cursed images. Oh no. But we're gonna be trying to figure out what's been edited out of them. Okay. But first we're going to donate $1,000 to 350.org to aid in their mission to end the age of fossil fuels and build a world of community-led renewable energy for all. Please join us in giving at 350.org slash donate. Thanks for being your mythical best. What a lovely guest we, we had on today. Always been a fan of Lauren. I feel like, you know, you see, Lauren's the kind of actor that you feel like, if you just were to just turn on the television and start flipping the channels, she's gonna be on there. She's been in so many different things. She's, she's she, been in so many different things. Yeah. Not to mention Jurassic World. Not to mention the that. film. I wasn't gonna mention it, but now that you mention it, Jurassic World. Yeah. The okay. first one, not the one that no one watched. Yeah. I'm gonna show you a cursed image. We've censored out, blacked out a part of it, and you're gonna have to guess what's behind that little part. So, for instance, this one. Okay, black and white. First of all, I was thrown by the fact that on the far left side, there's like a giant. <laughs> like a sleeveless or shirtless dude. I think what this is, is going to be a very, very disturbing clown. That's how it just feels that way to me. It well, feels like this is the kind of thing that you're going to see. Like, Dad's got a Budweiser. He's in like his hand. Pr he's proud. He's like, "Yep, I paid for this." Um, and every and, you think it's a clown? And I'm happy, and my kids are confused. My wife is questioning me it's, right now. It's behind the mom, yet it goes all the way to the ceiling. So I was thinking more of like cursed Christmas tree. Type thing, because what else from back there would go all the way to the ceiling? Is it a? Well, I have. You want to hear the options? Okay. Yes. Is it A, a clown with an axe? What? B. Well, Got to go with that. A dark shadow that looks like a person. C, a shirtless man covered in what looks like blood. Or D. Link holding a jar of peanut butter with a single hole in it. Oh, yo, yo, yo. We know what happened with that. Come on. That's. I doubt that a clown is right because I feel like I would have gotten a response from CV, but I'm going with clown. Well, there's a shirtless man in the foreground. I think it's a dark shadow of that shirtless man, even though the toddler doesn't have a shadow on it. Is it a vampire? What? All right, so I'm going with B, dark shadow. Let's see. <laughs> how Dude, did I know you, it was a clown? I didn't react because I was I wanted you to play the game. How? But on yeah, earth? you guessed it right. Oh, right the off clown the is standing on the chair. But is the clown going through a hole in the ceiling? What is happening up there? I don't know, but I'm glad I'm not I wasn't raised in that house. So this is this is a joke. Also, there's a chessboard mounted on the wall. This is this is intentionally, obviously, they did this as a joke, but like, even something about, like what's on the, the dad's cheeks? Like there's like, something on his cheeks? Oh yeah, he's like in clown makeup. Like he's in, that that looks like, um, like rosy cheek face paint. I think know? this is like a clown, um, this is a clown network. This is a clown home. It, that picture on the right is a clown. And then on the left, it's a, it's a chessboard mounted to the wall. This is so cursed. That chessboard's really flipping your lid, isn't it? I gotta give it to you, man. I gotta give it to you. You you said you said clown, but I you didn't sure say did. axe, so you don't get it. <laughs> okay. Let's see another. Oh, a narrow one. Cornelius. Hmm. What's in the passenger seat of that car? Is that a I it's, think it's, it's like uh, the, the seat is wearing seat, a shirt. It's a seat cover with like a bear on it, so I don't know if that's related. No, literally, the seat is wearing a sweater. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cursed. You can do that. And then Cornelius is who they're picking. Is that what you just said? They're picking up? Yeah. Um, this I'll is, give you a hint. That it's, it's on the antenna. It's, yeah, it's attached 
to the car. That the answer. Yeah, the, it's the antenna. I think it's supposed to look like a dead bird. It look, it's supposed to look like you have run into a bird with your antenna. Uh, I just can't imagine what would be on the antenna. That um, I think it's the. I think it's a human head. Okay, is it a? A bunch of moldy hot dogs glued together. B, doll heads stacked on top of each other. C, a femur. Or D, your son yelling, shotgun! It's got to be uh, B. It's got to be doll heads glued It's got to be doll heads. Stuck, stacked together. Because that makes sense. You could do that on an antenna without really changing it too much. Yep. Let's see. Yeah. Wow, with the hair. I didn't I didn't anticipate the hair. That's awesome. You I, did say a human head. Yeah. And on the very top, there's like a the big one. That's a that's a Homo sapien head. I feel like I feel like if I if I uh I might do this. That's cool. I it's not, it's not even cursed. If they were bald, it would be cursed. I wonder what it does to gas mileage. I mean, when you drive like 75, doesn't that thing just like bend over? I don't know. Notice I didn't say, I wonder what this does to reception because who's using their antenna, mm -mm, you know? Mm -mm. Who's, My nose who's... is itching so bad. Anybody here listen to the radio? Yeah. Whoa. Well, KCRW. We got like three people say right. yeah. So, Steve, you get in the car, you, you turn on KCRW? Hearing, hearing multiple NPR shout outs. Every morning you listen to KCRW radio. I didn't say every morning. Uh, but I did go through a phase, quite but frequently I do. Yeah. I, I it's a great one. Eclectic twenty four is a great uh, mixture of music. Can and I ask you though? On the are, weekends, great programming. So, okay, just w let's survey this. What do you listen to in the car? Uh, it can be more than one thing. It is either music. In, do it in the order of that you listen to, like the time spent. Because I don't think it's, yeah, I, I would guess for you it's uh, podcasts first. I would say audiobooks and podcasts are some are tied for number one in the music, and then, and then nothing else. Yeah, I, I never listen to the radio. I listen to, uh, I even listen to news streaming. I never listen to the radio. Uh, m music, but like streaming music. And then I'll listen to podcasts, and then I'll listen. The distant third is like audible books, but then if I get in an audible book, that's all I'll listen to until I'm done. Stevie, do you listen to the other, the three things that we I mentioned? I mostly will listen to Spotify. The reason I won't listen M to- Music or podcast? Music. The reason I don't listen to podcasts on, on a daily basis is because my commute doesn't, I don't like a, you know, it's like 20 minutes, so it's like too you short. You don't feel like you can commit to it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm but like, when you get home, that's forty minutes, and then the next day is sixty, and you pretty much gotten through the podcast or decided you don't want to you want to abandon. You it. actually yeah. know you know what I've been doing lately. This is a completely new thing. Humming starting to yourself. starting to watch a long YouTube video that is about something that I'm interested in, like whale evolution. <laughs> <laughs> like a forty-five minute video about whale evolution. You're talking about a um, those are called essays. Yeah, it's like Long a form it's essays. like a talking hit. And I'll be like getting ready in the morning, and I'm listening to it, or watching it, listening to it. And then I just get in my car, and I just connect my phone, and I just continue to listen to the YouTube video as I come in. Interesting. I've been doing that like for a month now, like probably half of the time. You should make like a um, make a playlist of those. Share it with us. Um. Okay, I don't know if anyone's interested. No, I'm interested. Oh, you're interested? I'm interested. Okay. Here I am. Stevie, are you interested? She, no. You don't have to be. Uh, but No, I just said bef I wasn't Before interested. Spotify, and before I like really committed to streaming music, I listened to NPR here in town quite a bit. I just, I, I like to have more control over the music I listen to, and NPR doesn't quite do it for me. Does anyone though. listen to FM music, like just music? Because the, n really, yeah. the number of commercials, oh, it God. is insane. Yeah, I listen ridiculous. and I'm like, so if you if, yeah. if I'm I'm coming in and it's a 20, 25 minute commute, 
It could be all commercial. Ten minutes of that will be commercials. L like, can I make a recommendation? It makes me so upset. For, forget whatever you're doing, and I just want to invite you to try out my dad's podcast. Yeah, do that. Dispatches yeah. from Myrtle Beach. Just try that out. I think it it will make you happy unless it offends you. But <laughs> I I think that he's he's a he's a super sweet, charismatic, fully committed yeah, to yeah. creating a podcast. He's all in. Where he just, you know, he talks to me every every week. And, um, you know, it's his show, and I want you to check it out. There's a, yes, there's there's sexy jokes that are emailed to him, but there's also sweet moments. Some sweet moments. And, and it's usually both at the same time. I watch for the sweet moments. It's also... Um, sexy wholesome. It, it's, you can consume it in a short, uh, right. you know. Yeah, if you have a 20 minute that commute, word I'm for. commute. And commute. then when you get there, you just wait five minutes before you leave, and then you, you stay in your car for five or minutes. Or you just when take, you get there. take the wrong exit. 30 minutes. Dispatches from Myrtle Beach, wherever you get your podcast. My dad will love you for it. Okay. Feeding time, time for, for Princess, Princess again. again. Okay. So. This is a close up of a wrist. Forearm? I have to assume that this person has a wrist nipple. It can happen. It's not unheard of. And Wait, so you and your essentially you're saying there's a tattoo of a or not tattoo, just a just a nipple. nipple on the and she this this person is just using their forearm to feed Someone named Princess is yeah. what you're saying. It's a okay. lactating right. wrist nipple. It's not hard to have a wrist nipple, but it's very unusual to have a lactating one because you have to get the milk tube to go all the way down to the wrist, um, which is very difficult. This is a mosquito. I think this is a mosquito. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Link okay. is totally right. He's feeding a mosquito. Here are your options: a, a mouse eating a worm. B, uh -uh. a large cockroach in a little dress. C, a leech sucking a girl's blood. Or D, Trevor. <laughs> I think it's a leech sucking a girl's blood because. Yeah. Because. Because. I'd love for it to be. It could be B, a cockroach in a little dress. So that's what I'm going with. Let's just see it and get it over with. Oh, it's a. It's a leech. It's I, a leech with a bow. I really love watching her get bigger from my blood. <laughs> okay, let's move At on. Lobotomize move on. me. Next, next one. Oh my gosh! Huh. Oh, it's old carrot on the crotch. Okay, so you're guessing what that sign nose. says. Uh. Oh yeah. I thought it was a carrot on the crotch too. Why is the nose green? What is the nose made out of? Whatever they could find. Is that a hint? What is that? I mean, seriously, the green thing. I don't know, man. And then there's something about, like, hug me. Snowman is wearing a pinkish dress shirt. Is that a hint? In front of a Honda. Accord. I think the Honda is incidental. It's an incidental Honda. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite model of Honda. They only made it for one year. Um, my favorite car is a Jubaru. <laughs> it's what Jesus drove. Yep. yep. Thanks, thought, Carney. That I was thought, a Carney joke. I thought he drove. I thought he drove a Chrysler. <laughs> That's stolen from someone else on Reddit. But okay. How about a station of the cross wagon? My accidental Honda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. <laughs> accidental Honda. <laughs> Can't all be winners. Um, what is that sign? I think it says free hugs. I think it says. What? What have you said? Hug me. I said, hug me and free hugs. I said, there, there's a carrot under here. Okay, your options are A, hell is real. <laughs> That's great. B, I'll be dead soon. 
C, when I melt, you'll see my bones. Or D, you know what time it is. Mm. <laughs> I like C, and I'm, I'm here for it. No, I mean, I'm waiting. Uh, when I melt, you'll see my bones. That's cool. And curse. Uh, I don't know. B, I'll be dead soon. Hell is Let's real. See? It's hilarious. I'll be dead soon. Lucky yeah, that's guess. dark, but not cursed. I think cursed would be I think it's funny. the bones thing. I think it's funny. Hell is real would be cursed and awesome. <laughs> All right, keep them coming. Uh-oh, we're in somebody's kitchen. Uh, this, that's where the fridge is. Yeah. Well, I'll say it's it's someone or something standing in the kitchen. Okay. Well, it could be. I mean, there's. This is very difficult. A clown with an axe. I think. Well, no. How about? Um, is it superhero themed? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'd say uh, lo lo loosely, maybe. I don't know. All right. Is somebody in? Is some guy? Really tight. It, it, is somebody in a diaper? Morph suit. Somebody in a diaper. You asked if it was superhero themed, and then guessed it's somebody in a diaper. Yeah, baby man. <laughs> <laughs> Super baby man. It, it's like a spandex suit. Okay, your options are A, a grandma sucking on a bloody machete. Oh, God. B, someone doing a handstand with two horse heads on their feet. That. C, so. a man completely wrapped in a duct tape bunny costume. Or D, your mom, and she's disappointed in you. Oh, no, It's mom. definitely B. It's definitely B, and, and I can see why you would think that would be a superhero. No, I'm gonna go with duct tape bunny. Let's see. Yes! Oh, it could also be a superhero. Look at his package. Yeah. Good gracious. Yeah, it's diaper-esque on, wow. on the bottom. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine how long it took to get that off? How on earth? Look at the feet. That, I mean, I, I have to believe that this person, this human under there wrapped themselves in something. Yeah, like and spandex. And then put the duct I tape certainly on. hope for their case sake. What in the, f oh my gosh. Everywhere I look, I'm disturbed. Uh, well, let's stop let's looking Let's look away. It. When I look back, it'll be gone. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> Even the part we can see is cursed. So who is this child centaur talking to? <laughs> Isn't that the question we've been asking for years? Uh, who is this child centaur? If you're talking gonna do a centaur, you gotta make the back longer. The back of the centaur should be at least as long as your back. You know, that centaur is gonna have trouble standing up. Uh, who is he talking to? It, I mean, it's narrower than a centaur. What about a a, a, a monotar? <laughs> uh, One leg. So, is it something else in the world of of centaurs? I'm not, I'm not going to give you that. I will give you some choices. Give us some <laughs> choices. choices. Is it a a child dressed as a creepy bird nun? B, a child in a fluffy black latex suit with yellow eyes. C, a headless American girl doll holding two decapitated Barbie dolls, or D, his future self begging him to start making better choices. <laughs> yeah. I think he's probably looking at another kid. Creepy bird nun is something I would like to see. I'm going, I'm a black latex suit, yellow eyes. Let's see. Oh! oh. Creepy bird nun. Bird nun, yes. I mean, what kind of family? <laughs> I don't know, but I, I, I'm, you know, I'd like to visit. <sighs> Please tell me that's it. Oh, oh that's... no! What in the world? I are you think doing? I've injected something in your mouth. At, I know what one, this is. It's point. that thing that it was that uh, popsicle thing that like you. Oh, it was a tongue. It was it was a tongue. Yes, it was a tongue. Another a candy tongue. You guys got us. Oh gosh. 
That's not the one I thought it was. Yeah, like, I didn't realize it was coming from my mouth. I thought it was the one where you like, you fired it into my mouth, which is a different toy candy. You got thing. some NFL film style quality footage of that of that moment. You know, I didn't realize you got a close up. You know what? And this will outlive us all. We're never living that down, man. Check out the latest dispatches from Myrtle Beach recorded live at Mythicon, linking his dad Charles together to record for the first time.